In a previous session of Cloud4 Analytics modeling, we had a look how to create the BI model using SAP Cloud4 Analytics. In that model, we created a hierarchy for, uh, for the product and loss elements, and we also created a hierarchy for the time-driven series. I now go creating a dashboard on top of this model, which you typically do in a second phase of working with Cloud4 Analytics. So I just logged in and what I do is I go to the stories, and I tick the plus sign intending to create a new story. I give it a name. And I tick the create button. This brings me to the following screen where I can either import data or add a canvas or add a grid. I'm going to add a blank canvas, which is a good starting point for me to create my first storyboard. I'll take a chart for the plus sign and crucial what is coming up next is that Cloud4 Analytics asks me what uh, model I'd like to use. So we are going to use the model that we created in a previous session called test forecast. And this brings me to my uh, development screen, the builder screen, as you can see over here. My first little chart is already popped up over here on my left hand side. And I'm now uh, ready to choose what kind of chart structure I'd like to see. I could do comparison, bar and columns, combined ones, waterfalls. I could do trend analysis, for example, with an area. I can do distribution, heat maps, tree maps, radar charts, box plots. I could do correlation, cluster, bubbles, and scatters, KPIs. And I have an option more for other my macro, pie chart, donors charts, or uh, tables. What I'm going to do in this first chart is to choose a uh, KPI numeric point data set because I want to create a small overview on top with three tiles indicating actuals, forecast, and budget. Let me do that right now for you. So I tick the KPI and I have to select at least, least one measure. Let me start with the revenue. Here it is. And I'm now going to format that area. I'm going to choose a smaller let us choose a Verdana and a scholar I'd like to have gray. I can resize it and reschedule it to my needs. Next to that, I'm now going to add the same new charts now for budget and for forecast. I'm going to insert a picture. I can easily upload pictures that I have and that I'd like to use. So let me use a picture. And I could even say I'd like to make a hyperlink to it, to a website, for example, say my own private website. Now this picture is clickable, as you can see, uh, opening a website of my choice. I'm going to further work on my dashboard right now. So I'm going to bring in a new chart. And again, I choose the model, 
that I already worked from. And what I want to do is I want to place this chart, put it over here. And I want this chart to indicate the um, performance of the three measures, outlook, revenue, and budget. And I'd like that to be done by the category with the hierarchy that we created. Over here it is. I'm going to make it a bit longer. <coughs> and what I further like to do is that I like this <coughs> interaction to apply on the whole story, meaning that if I drill down that the other elements are being affected too which I will um, <clears throat> show to you um, in the next step. So if I now click on cost and I drill down, you will see that the accompanying numbers over here are being adjusted. Drill up again. Cloud for Analytics is uh, expected to be Hickard IBCS certified at the end of this uh, fiscal year, but already the majority of the RBCS standards can be applied uh, within the product right now. I will show you how you, for example, could adjust this chart uh, to be compliant to the standards of um, Hickert. A second chart could, for example, be an overview of how my <coughs> orders are being distributed over time. And I'm going to further um, work on my storyboard and I'm going to add a clustered bubble to get an insight on how my revenue is distributed over the various PL lines per uh, location. And let me show you how I do that. So I uh, just position the chart that I'm interested in. I'm going to look for a clustered bubble and asking for the um, revenue metrics uh, that I'm interested in. I want to distribute per city and uh, I'd like to have the color coding based on the, um, well, for example, the <clears throat> PL groups. And here you go. I'm going to adjust the color coding to the other color coding that I have. And again, if you see over here if I now drill down into this initial view you will see that also this one is adjusted so if I further drill down to this one finally I'm going to add a geo map to give you an indication that I also want to be able to select on the map and filter the data accordingly to my selection. So I'm going to add a geomap. Again, choose the model that I'm working on. And we first are going to position the, well, let me first put it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer and I wanna have a normal bubble layer and my, I need to select, of course, my location dimension, the one that I'm interested in. And I'm going to uh, color code by, uh, let me color code by budget and making the following, uh, voila. And I'm going to put the opacity a little bit higher and uh, let me choose the, type of base map that I'm interested in and I'm going to choose the well, let me choose the dark gray one well so this clearly uh, gives me an indication on the um, on the um, <clears throat> uh, how the forecast is allocated uh, I can add a second layer again 
with the same dimension where I could have a look at the uh, specific outlook and say, well, I want to have that um, as a, uh, I can use the ranges. So I adjust that a little bit. So here, this gives me good way of looking where the elements are. And I could choose a third layer and let me make that a point of interest layer. Um, so um, uh, I could indicate the hurricanes over here that uh, show, uh, it's a little uh, tricky, but uh, they indicate the hurricanes on your left hand side, you see them over here, how they are affected towards the bigger um, area of my Voila, and now I'm ready. And so what I've created in the end is a um, <clears throat> is an interactive storyboard in just a few minutes, um, where I uh, can do the following things. If I do make uh, one small adjustment to the um, designer element of this uh, of this uh, geo map, then can put apply filters to the story on and then you will see that everything I do on the map is also applicable to um, the story. So let me show you the end result. So if I drill down in cost, you will see that all the metrics are automatically adjusted. Also my map. Situation and I can choose this polygon button and select I'm interested in and have a look at the other metrics, you will see that they also are automatically adjusted. Cloud for Analytics BI visualization storyboards in 10 minutes. Many thanks for your